How does a Boeing 737 handle in a full stall? Aviation Week recently found out with Alaska Airlines, the first carrier to have attained approval for an extended aerodynamic model for full stall simulator training. Alaska earned its approval from the FAA this spring. Full stalls are one of a handful of new maneuvers the FAA is requiring airlines to begin training in the simulator by March 2019. The generic name for the new training is Upset Prevention and Recovery Training, or UPRT, and it includes not only full stalls, but nose high and nose low upsets, bounce landings, icing conditions, and takeoffs and landings in gusty crosswind conditions. In July, Avweek sampled a four-hour introductory course with Alaska, the one that will provide new pilots starting in 2018. All pilots at all airlines will have to complete the FAA-mandated training by March 2020, then periodically afterward. Key to the UPRT program are new required simulator monitoring tools that show the instructor what the pilots are doing with the controls, as well as how the maneuver fits with a valid envelope of the simulator. Alaska's four-hour session included about 15 maneuvers and scenarios, only two of which are shown here. We're going to take it all the way to aerodynamic stall. So the initial approach to stall recoveries we did early, we took the stick shaker. So for training purposes only, we want pilots to see all the cues related to full aerodynamic stall. And those cues are aerodynamic buffet, reduced lateral and vertical or pitch or roll control, and inability to rest the descent rate. Of those, the ones that are going to be new to pilots who haven't seen this before is you're going to get a lot more aerodynamic buffet than you ever saw before. That's a huge cue. But more importantly, the sink rate that develops. Okay. So what you're going to see, it's going to get in the stick shaker. The airplane is still flying. The wing is still flying. And if you look at your IVSI, you'll see a transition. And just buff it, buff it, buff it, buff it. And this model, you have, uh, there's a random wing drop. So sometimes it's just it's a nose level wing drop. Sometimes it's random wing left, random wing right. No two stalls are ever the same. That's why the model is in there. Uh, but there'll be a transition where you'll see the IVSI go from zero to 500 to 1,000. And then as you get an aerodynamic stall, you're going to get a sink rate up to 9,000 feet per minute. And if you have full elevator back, nothing's happening. The airplane's not responding now. Airspeed, low. Airspeed, low. Here's some of the aerodynamic buffet. Look at your idea side, we're still flying. We will fly for a while into stick shaker. Still flying. Here comes more of the buffet. Watch that transitioning right in VSI. There's a little wing block. Now we're in aerodynamic stop. Banking. Banking. Okay, I'll call it off. Banking. Banking. Yeah, see some of the skids there? Okay. Now the recovery. Watch the secondary. Very pitch sensitive. That's right, That's right, very pitch sensitive. So give yourself some margin, because you're going to lose the altitude anyway. There you go. Now you're above the end of bar, you got a positive acceleration, and it's gentle pitch inputs here. Thrust is required, you put the thrust in. There you go, nice recovery, John. There you go. So on this one, we're going to take it all the way up to aerodynamic stall on the autopilot. And uh, John, when I tell you to recover, we'll go ahead and recover. We'll let it go all the way to aerodynamic stall for training purposes only. You might have to spin the heading bug around. And go so we want to make sure we're in 30 degrees of bank as we do the stall uh, recovery. So this is full aerodynamic stall beyond stick shaker. I'll tell you when to recover. Airspeed, low. Airspeed, low. There's a buffet. There's a 
transition into the stall, wait a little bit. And recover. Very nice.